Hi guys and welcome back to another Airborne Aviation video. Today we're going to be looking at how to install IVAO models for VPilot and VATSIM. Now recently um, IVAO um, models for aircraft have been taken off the uh, VPilot uh, VATSIM client because it was against IVAO's best wishes. It's not technically against any rules, it was just um, looking out for their best wishes which is understandable. However, they are they do do by far the best model matching for VATSIM, and so we're going to try and uh, put the uh, put still put the IVAO models into VATSIM. Okay, now uh, before we get started, you're going to have to download uh, the IVAO Pilot client. So to do that, we just go to the IVAO um, website, which is linked in the description below. Go to Resources Software, IVAO Pilot client, and then you download the one for FSX and Prepared 3D. So once that's downloaded, in uh, um, once that's downloaded, you want to open up IVAP and just run the application. Next, I, I accept, etc., etc., etc. Single PC, that's fine, and I'm going to do it for prepared. Um, okay, now this all here is pretty self-explanatory. You're just going through and just following all the steps, like so. Okay. Do you want to run the MTL installer? Now this is very important, this is what's going to give you the model matching and so we definitely want to install that, yes. And now you can pick one of these two, I'm going to run mine in uh, full screen mode. And FSUIPC, uh, the inversion they want to install is a older version of the one I've already got installed so I'm not going to install that. However, if you don't have FSUIPC, definitely install it, it's very useful. And we don't want to install the TeamSpeak voice client because uh, we're not going to be actually using IVAO. And then hit install. And once that's installed, I'm not going to install it again. Once that's installed, you want to go to Lockheed Martin P3D or uh, FSX and go to your sim objects folder. And there should be an IVAO underscore MTL file folder in your sim objects folder. And so in there, there should be a load of different folders with different aircraft in them, for example, 737. Um, and this is these are all the models basically and so if you've got all of this in here you know you've done the first bit correctly so then the next thing you need to do is you need to uh, go to the VMR generator here again linked in the description below and here is uh, the next thing you need to download you just want to download it and so once you've downloaded that you just want to go ahead and just open it up I've done this a few times, let's go to the most recent one, and you want to open this up here. Now you should get this line here, IV, um, Lockheed Martin B3D Simoptics IVAO MTL. This is, uh, that should be the path to your IVAO dot underscore MTL folder. And if it is, then you've uh, got something right. So then if that comes up here, you just want to press go, and that's going to create the uh, model matching rule set for this IVAO folder. Okay, so now you've got that installed, we want to open up vPilot itself. Go to settings, model matching, and you want to go and add a custom file. Now in here will be something that says VMR generated uh, custom file or something to that extent. And you just want to rename that, I've just renamed it IVO underscore P3D. You can rename it whatever you want, but just uh, remember that name. So then you're just going to press open, so just press open that and that will appear in your downloaded rule set. Now you're, almost, now you're almost done, you just need to do one more thing. And this thing is, what's the trickiest for me, I actually couldn't figure it out for a while. So we're just going to search into our search bar down the bottom here into Windows. We're just going to go to program data. And then uh, that should come up. So you want percentage sign, program data, or one word, and then percentage sign again. So we're going to open that up and we want to go to Lockheed Martin P3D and then you want to go to the simobjects.config file. Open that up. Now by default there will be 9 entries here, however we want to enter a 10th. Uh, I'll copy this in the description below so you can just copy it in if you want. But the title, uh, I'm not sure if it has to be the same as the one that you've got as your model matching rule set, but uh, I just put it in just, uh, just in case. And so the, you put all of this in, I'll copy it below as I said, and then um, save that, close it, and you should be good to go. If, they, if you have any problems, please let me know in the comments below, and I'll do my best to figure them out and help you out. Um, I am relatively new to this, so uh, I can't say how I can fix every problem, but I can definitely give it a go. Also, if there's anything else you would like me to 
uh, explain or do a tutorial on, please let me know again in the comments below. If you did like this video, please give it a like and do subscribe, it really does help me out. Thanks very much guys, and I will uh, speak to you again very soon. Bye bye.